हेलो एवरीवन यू हैव ऑलरेडी स्टडीड इन योर प्रीवियस सेशन एस ब्रिज कोर्स पार्ट वन द कॉन्सेप्ट्स ऑफ एटम्स मॉलिक्यूल्स कॉम्पाउंड्स एंड आल्सो यू हैव आल्सो स्टडीड द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ आइसोटोप्स वी आर कंटिन्यूड पार्ट यू हैव यू शुड स्टडी इन दिस सेशन एज आइसोटोप्स आइसोबास आइसोटोन्स एंड आयोन्स एंड एसिड्स एंड बेसिस वॉट आर आइसोटोप्स हैविंग same atomic number but different mass number is known as isotopes right uh, you have already know the representation of an atomic number and mass number this is known as atomic number and the top right co is known as mass number right therefore these are the three isotopes of hydrogen having same atomic number as 1 but different mass number as 1 2 3 another example as chlorine it exists in two different isotopic form in abundance as chlorine 35 17 chlorine 36 17 here the atomic number remains same but mass number is changing therefore isotopes are the species having same atomic number but different mass number isotopes are also defined as species having same number of protons protons are going to be same but different number of neutrons let us consider here the as you know atomic number means what same number of protons total number of protons therefore atomic number the number of protons here is equal to 1 as the definition says the protons the number of protons remains same but number of neutrons will change as we consider the first example h11 the number of protons is 1 here the number of protons is also 1 in this case also the number of protons is 1 in all three cases the number of protons remains 1 but number of neutrons will change how let us consider the first isotopic form here as we know atomic mass number is number of protons plus neutrons right here the proton is 1 but there is no neutron here the neutron is there is no neutron therefore zero therefore in this first case the number of neutrons is zero as we consider the second example h12 the number of protons is 1 but number of neutrons will be as we know how to calculate neutrons n is equal to a minus z right therefore 2 minus 1 which is equal to 1 therefore in the second case the number of neutrons will be 1 and protons will also be 1 let us consider the third example third isotopic form of hydrogen in this case also the number of protons remains same but number of neutrons changes as n is equal to 3 minus 1 which is equal to 2 therefore in the first case the number of neutrons will be 0 in the second case the number of neutrons will be 1 in the third case the number of neutrons will be two therefore isotopes are the species having same number of protons protons will be same but neutrons will going to change next concepts are isobars let us consider first example like calcium potassium and argon calcium potassium argon the atomic number of calcium what 20 potassium 19 argon 18 atomic number of calcium 20 potassium 19 argon 18 mass number 40 40 40 as you observe in this case the atomic number is changing but mass number remains same okay here calcium atomic number 20 potassium 19 argon 18 atomic number is changing but as you observe the mass number it is remain same it remains same it does not change therefore what is the definition of isobars isobars are the species having same mass number mass number will remain same same mass number but different atomic number but different atomic number isobars are the species having same mass number mass number remains same but different atomic number atomic number will changes but mass remains same this is about isobars 
Next, move on to next concept, isotones. Let us consider an example of carbon, nitrogen, oxygen. As we observe in this example, the atomic number is changing as 6, 7, 8. As well as mass number is also changing as 14, 15, 16. Both atomic number as well as mass number are changing. Therefore, what is going to remain same? Let us consider the number of neutrons. How to calculate number of neutrons? Neutrons is equal to A minus Z. As we know, N represents neutrons, A represents mass number and Z represents atomic number, right? Therefore, let us consider the first example carbon. In the carbon, what is mass number? 14 minus atomic number 6. Therefore, the number of neutrons will be 8. 14 minus 6, 8. Number of neutrons, 8. Let us consider the second case. The mass number is 15. The atomic number is 7. 15 minus 7 which is equal to 8. Let us consider the third example as oxygen. Mass number is 16 and atomic number is 8. 16 minus 8 which is equal to 8. As we observe in this case, the number of neutrons is 8 in 3 cases. In all the 3 cases, the number of neutrons is 8. Therefore, what we can conclude from this example is, isotones are the species having same number of neutrons. Neutrons will going to remain same. What is changing but different mass numbers and atomic number. Isotones are the species having same number of neutrons. As you observe in the example, the number of neutrons remains as 8 in all the three cases, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen. But both atomic mass number and atomic number is changing. Therefore, isotones are the species having same number of neutrons but different number of atomic number and mass number. This concepts of isotopes, isobars and isotones is very important, fundamental concepts of chemistry. This is important as well as for your board exam as well as your competitive exam. Therefore, concentrate much more on these three concepts. Let us move on to the next concepts as ions. Let us consider an example as sodium chlorine and Na plus and Cl minus. What is the major difference between NaCl and Na plus Cl minus? This Na and Cl is known as atoms. As you have already studied in your previous classes, what is atom molecules compound? Na and Cl is an atom. Na plus and Cl minus is an ion. Therefore, what are ions? Ions are electrically charged species means either they carry positive charge or negative charge. It may carry positive charge or negative charge. Therefore, ions are the species are which are electrically charged species which may carry either positive charge or negative charge. Ions are majorly classified into two types, positively charged ions and negatively charged ions. These positively charged ions are also known as cations. The positively charged ions are known as cations and negatively charged ions are known as anions. Positively charged ions are known as cations and negatively charged ions are known as anions. Let us consider an example for cations like which carries the ions which carries positive charge like Na plus, Li plus, Ca2 plus, Mg2 plus and so on. Na plus is sodium ion, Li plus is lithium ion, Ca2 plus is calcium ion, Mg2 plus is magnesium ion. These are the some of the cations, cationic examples. How these positively charged ions are formed? Heng form of cations? Cations 
are formed by the loss of electrons. By the loss of electrons, these positively charged species are forming. Andre, adra lironta electrons na kalkota idhe adu. Similarly, let us consider some examples for anions like Cl minus, Br minus, I minus. Cl minus means chloride ion. Br minus means bromide ion, I minus means iodide ion, Cl minus, Br minus, I minus. These are the examples for anions. Anions are the species which carries negative charge. Why they carry negative charge? Why they forms the, uh, why, how the anions are formed? The anions are formed by gaining of electrons. By gaining of electrons, anions will be going to form. As we observe, cations are formed by the loss of electrons and anions are formed by the gain of electrons. The doubt may arise why it is gaining electron or why it is losing one electrons or two electrons. It will be studied in detail in your first PUC chapter called chemical bonding. Next, moving on to the concept, last concept of this session, acids and bases. As we observe in our daily life, uh, we come to know about many acids and many bases. Some of the examples of acids, you Acids ke example to adre, lemon. It is a citrus fruit. Citrus acid contain madate. Similarly, orange. Some of the examples of acids. Hangene. Similarly, there are some of the examples of bases. The major example is sodium hydroxide. It is an example of base. As you know, acids are sore to taste. Andre huli huli agirate. It is sore to taste. Taste madaga acids, it is so to taste whereas bases are bitter bitter andre kahi bases are bitter to taste and soapy to touch andre on solpa soap na touch maadda yav feeling baratto aathar erathe bases as i have already told acids are so to taste andre hulu hulu agirathe ni for example lemon juice kudidi dira alva a lemon juice hengirathe on solpa huli taste baratta alva orange orange tindi dira alva adu hulu hulu agirathe acids are so to taste bases bitter kahi agirathe ಈಗ ಸೋಪ್ ಗಳೆಲ್ಲ ನೋಡಿದಿರ ಅಲ್ವಾ ಲೈಫ್ ಬಾಯ್ ಸೋಪ್ ಸ್ಯಾವ್ಲಾನ್ ಬೇಜ್ ತುಂಬಾ ಡಿಫರೆಂಟ್ ಸೋಪ್ಸ್ ಗಳು ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಅದರಲ್ಲೆಲ್ಲ ಏನಿರುತ್ತೆ ಬೇಸಸ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ಆ ಸೋಪ್ ನ ಟಚ್ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಸೋಪಿ ಟಚ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತೀವಿ ಸೋಪ್ ನ ಟಚ್ ಮಾಡಿದಾಗ ಯಾವ ತರ ಫೀಲಿಂಗ್ ಬರುತ್ತೋ ಆ ತರ ಫೀಲಿಂಗ್ ನೀವು ಬೇಸ್ ನ ಟಚ್ ಮಾಡಿದಾಗ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಸೋಪಿ ಟು ಟಚ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಬಿಟರ್ ಇನ್ ಟೇಸ್ಟ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತೀವಿ ಬೇಸಿಕ್ ಡಿಫರೆನ್ಸ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಬೇಸಿಕ್ ಆಗಿ ಆಸಿಡ್ ಹೆಂಗಪ್ಪ ಡಿಫರೆನ್ಶಿಯೇಟ್ ಮಾಡೋದು ಬೇಸ್ ನ ಹೆಂಗ್ ಡಿಫರೆನ್ಶಿಯೇಟ್ ಮಾಡೋದು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದೆ ಹಾಗಾದ್ರೆ ನಾವು ಕೆಮಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿಲಿ ಆಸಿಡ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಏನು ಬೇಸ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಏನು ಇನ್ ಕೆಮಿಕಲ್ ಟರ್ಮ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಸಿಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಬೇಸ್ ಲೆಟ್ ಅಸ್ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ ಫ್ಯೂ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಹೆಚ್ ಸಿ ಎಲ್ ಹೆಚ್ ಎನ್ ಓ ತ್ರೀ ಹೆಚ್ ಟು ಎಸ್ ಓ ಫೋರ್ ಹೆಚ್ ತ್ರೀ ಪಿ ಓ ಫೋರ್ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಮ್ ಆಸಿಡ್ಸ್ ಹೆಚ್ ಸಿ ಎಲ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಹೈಡ್ರೋಕ್ಲೋರಿಕ್ ಆಸಿಡ್ ಹೆಚ್ ಎನ್ ಓ ತ್ರೀ ನೈಟ್ರಿಕ್ ಆಸಿಡ್ ಹೆಚ್ ಟು ಎಸ್ ಓ ಫೋರ್ ಸಲ್ಫ್ಯೂರಿಕ್ ಆಸಿಡ್ ಹೆಚ್ ತ್ರೀ ಪಿ ಓ ಫೋರ್ ಫಾಸ್ಫಾರಿಕ್ ಆಸಿಡ್ಸ್ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಸಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಸಿಡ್ಸ್ ಆಸ್ ಯು ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವ್ ಇನ್ ದೀಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ದ ಮೇಜರ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಯು ಶುಡ್ ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಕಂಟೈನ್ಸ್ ಹೈಡ್ರೋಜನ್ ಅಯೋನ್ಸ್ ಹೆಚ್ 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 ಟು ಹೆಚ್ ತ್ರೀ ಇಟ್ ಮೇಜರ್ಲಿ ಕಂಟೈನ್ಸ್ ಹೆಚ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಅಯೋನ್ಸ್ ಲೆಟ್ ಅಸ್ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ ಹೆಚ್ ಸಿ ಎಲ್ ಆನ್ ಅಯೋನೈಸೇಷನ್ ಹೆಚ್ ಸಿ ಎಲ್ ಗಿವ್ಸ್ ರೈಸ್ ಟು ಹೆಚ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸಿ ಎಲ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಅಯೋನ್ ಸಿಮಿಲರ್ಲಿ ವೆನ್ ವಿ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ ಹೆಚ್ ಎನ್ ಓ ತ್ರೀ ಆನ್ ಡಿಸೋಸಿಯೇಷನ್ ಇಟ್ ಗಿವ್ಸ್ ಹೆಚ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎನ್ ಓ ತ್ರೀ ಮೈನಸ್ ಅಯೋನ್ಸ್ ಸಿಮಿಲರ್ಲಿ ವೆನ್ ವಿ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ ಹೆಚ್ ಟು ಎಸ್ ಓ ಫೋರ್ ಆನ್ ಡಿಸೋಸಿಯೇಷನ್ ಇಟ್ ಗಿವ್ಸ್ ಟು ಹೆಚ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಎಸ್ ಓ ಫೋರ್ ಟು ಮೈನಸ್ ಸಿಮಿಲರ್ಲಿ ಹೆಚ್ ತ್ರೀ ಪಿ ಓ ಫೋರ್ ಆನ್ ಡಿಸೋಸಿಯೇಷನ್ ಗಿವ್ಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಹೆಚ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪಿ ಓ ಫೋರ್ ತ್ರೀ ಮೈನಸ್ ಅಯೋನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದೀಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಆಸ್ ವಿ ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವ್ ಆನ್ ಡಿಸೋಸಿಯೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಸಿಡ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಗಿವ್ಸ್ ಹೈಡ್ರೋಜನ್ ಅಯೋನ್ ಪ್ರೋಟಿಯಂ ಅಯೋನ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಮನ್ ಇನ್ ದೀಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದೀಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ವಾಟ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಕಂಕ್ಲೂಡ್ ದ ಆಸಿಡ್ ದ ಡೆಫಿನೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಸಿಡ್ ವುಡ್ ಬಿ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ದಿ ಕೆಮಿಕಲ್ ಸ್ಪೀಷೀಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಕಂಟ
2H plus plus SO4 2 minus बरता है Therefore, acids are the species containing H plus ions. H plus ions ना contain माड़ो species ने ना वो acids अन्ता करीते हैं. Therefore, what are bases? Acids अन्दर H plus ion consider, contain अगता है. हांगा इरी base अन्दर एनो, consider few examples like NaOH, KOH, MgOH twice, ALOH thrice. Sodium hydroxide, potassium hydroxide, magnesium hydroxide, aluminium hydroxide. These are some of the examples for bases. As we consider one example sodium hydroxide, it dissociates to give Na plus plus OH minus. Similarly, KOH dissociates to give K plus plus OH minus ions. Similarly, magnesium hydroxide dissociates to give Mg2 plus plus 2 OH minus. Similarly, aluminium hydroxide dissociates to give Al3 plus plus 3 OH minus. As we have considered the few examples of sodium hydroxide, potassium hydroxide, magnesium and aluminium hydroxide, on dissociation, what do you mean by dissociation? I have already used that word in acids also on dissociation. Dissociation means breakage of bond. Means when you consider a chalk piece as a molecule or a uh, NaCl or magnesium hydroxide, when we break this chalk piece, it breaks down into two pieces, means two separate ions. Therefore, dissociation means breakage. Breakage of the bond is known as dissociation. On dissociation, the sodium hydroxide giving rise to Na plus and OH minus ion. Similarly, potassium hydroxide on dissociation gives rise to K plus and OH minus ion. Similarly, when we consider an example of magnesium hydroxide, it dissociates to give Mg2 plus and 2OH minus ion. And aluminium hydroxide dissociates to give Al3 plus and 3OH minus ion. As we are going to observe in this example on dissociation, what is common? OH minus ion is common. OH minus ion is common in these examples. Therefore, bases are the species which contains OH minus ions. Bases are the chemical species which contains OH minus ions are known as bases. This is the chemical term which will be used as acids and bases. Acids are the species which contains H plus ions whereas bases are the species which contains OH minus ions. Uh, in your PU section, you will going to study in detail about the acids and bases. What are the different concepts of acids, different definitions of acids and bases discovered by the different scientists in detail in acids and bases concept in equilibrium chapter. This is only the bridge of the chapter equilibrium as acids and bases. The fundamental concept, what is the fundamental definition of acid and basis. Uh, these are the some few concepts we have discussed in this session as uh, isotopes, isobars, isotones, ions and acids and bases. These are the few concepts which are bridging to your next PU chapters. Therefore, going through this concept is very important as it is the bridging concept between your lower classes and your PU sections. Thank you.